So what do you see from the infiltration of CCP uh, into America? But the CCP, they have all these underground police stations around the United States where their uh, secret police is trying to round up you know, Chinese citizens and stuff. You know, if people take a little inventory to read Xi's uh, speeches over the years, he's very serious about pushing global domination and he will stop at nothing to further his cause. We have to remember that Xi Jinping, the Chinese Politburo, the CCP, now I think uh, that's a complete breach of our uh, national sovereignty. Xi Jinping right now has mishandled the whole COVID pandemic through all these nefarious lockdowns, welding people in their apartment doors for weeks at a time, if not months, is sickening and inhumane. And, you know, it shows what an evil system that they are. So if there's any underground movements in communist China, we have to do what we can to build them up, support them, money, strength, you know, and get our message out. We have to do what we did in the 1980s with the Soviet Union. There needs to be a Chinese equivalent of a solidarity or something like that. And we have to really build these people up. And I mean, to all the people in all corners of the globe that recognize communist China for the international bully and the, you know, semi-global hegemon that they want and understand Xi's quest for global domination, I salute your efforts. And we have to keep it up and we have to fight like hell. You know, in a free and open society like we have in the West, in the United States, we could uh, make these discoveries and advancements and stuff like that. We could f think of things that never were. In China, they can't because their system, you know, authoritarianism and communism does not allow for creativity or self-expression. We have to take that to the bank. They are committing genocide and stuff, and it, it's sickening. What they're doing to the Uyghurs in, you know, that province, all the, you know, labor camps and gulags and education camps that they have, it's a despotic cancer that you will find in the communist system. And it should be condemned to the back pages of history. And I think that is happening now. Sooner or later, people will look back at this era and look at, you know, these, this bizarre chapter of this system. And now we'll finally recognize that the final pages are now being writ written with your efforts. We have to break the system, exactly, by all means. Take down the CCP. We will bury them.